Hey everyone, I'm Daniel and you're watching Coding and Caffeine. Welcome to a new episode of uh, JavaScript based on Codecademy online platform. And um, this video I want to study uh, scope. So scope is, to, is where the variable can be accessed in a program. And uh, while some variables can be accessed from anywhere within a program, other variables may only be available in a specific context. Scope depends entirely on where a variable is uh, declared. And here you can read this small example for let you understand better the concept of scope. So um, you, you, will, you will understand where a, a variable can be declared globally or, um, or can be accessed globally in, uh, in, a, in a block of code. Uh, so we want to hit next. And uh, global scope, we'll start with global scope. Variable defines in the global scope are declared outside of a set of colibri. So when you have the code like this, you will, uh, you will declare a variable outside this block of code in a curly braces. Um, so we'll cover more on blocks in subsequent exercise. So let's take a look on the example of global scope. So here you have a constant of color blue and uh, you can access this uh, variable even in the function of const colors of sky. So you return the color and of course it will be blue. And when you, um, when you call it this function in the console log, you will have the, the color blue. Uh, so instruction at the top of sky.js, write two global variables using const, one named satellite set equal to the moon and the other name galaxy set equal the, my, the Milky Way. Okay, so to declare these two variables, const uh, satellite equal to the moon And the second one, it will be galaxy equal to, so zero is equal, the Milky Way. Uh, okay, so hit run. And we have this first instruction. So using let, write another global variable named stars and set it equal to north star. So that way we can understand the difference between const and let. So let stars equal to north star. Okay, hit run. Uh, oh, let stars, right? Yeah, stars now starts. Below these variables using const, write a function named my night sky. Inside the function, include a return statement like this. Okay, so I want to create a new function called my uh, night sky to use a narrow function as we learned before, and we want to return night sky uh, with a space plus satellite plus uh, kind of comma and space plus stars plus another comma plus galaxy. Okay. Hit run. And beneath the my net sky function use console log to log the value of my net sky to the console. Console.log. You want to invoke the function my night sky and see what happened in our output. So night sky, the moon, north star, the Milky Way. Okay. So uh, we output the, th the three variables that we created. Okay. Go to the next global scope two. While it's important to know what global scope is, it's better to avoid defining variables in the global scope. 
globally scoped variable can collide with variables that are more locally scoped, causing an expected behavior in our code. So let's explore our program a little further. Let's see what happens if we create a variable that overrides a global variable. Inside my the minus sky, so inside this function, um, on the very first line of the function, assign the variable stars to Sirius. Okay. Stars equal to Sirius. And let's see what happened in our okay. So as you can see, we change we change the value of uh, the let uh, variable stars before it was a north star, but we we don't see north stars anymore in our output. We see series. So we overwrite the um, we have uh, overwritten the the very the value of stars outside the function under the previous console log statement. Console log the value of stars. Console log of stars Let's see what happened series so you can see we changed the you'll notice that the global variable stars was reassigned to series in other words we unexpectedly changed the value of the global variable and this could impact our program in ways we do not intend okay block scope because of the challenges with global scope it is preferable to define a variable in block scope so in the in the curly braces and serves as an important structural marker of our code. So it refers to curly braces. Block scope means that a variable defined in a block is only accessible with the curly braces. Block scope will work like this. So we declare a constant color of a sky the function. So we only declared in the block of code here, the let color of blue. Console log color. You'll notice we define a function color of a sky. Within the function, the color variable is only available within the curly braces of the function. And if we try to log the same variable outside the function, it logs undefined. Okay, in like JS, using const to define a function. Okay, so const we declare a new function visible light waves waves. to run within the visible light waves function using let create a variable light waves so let light waves equal to moonlight Within the function beneath the light waves variable, add a console log statement that we log the value of the light waves variable when the function runs. So we want to print the value of these light waves here and see what happens in our output. Uh, light waves. Within the function beneath the light waves variable, add a console log statement that will log the value of the light waves. Here is the problem here to run like this. Light waves. Oh, I was the, sorry. The value of the, the function, of course. So as you can see, we, we logged outside the, the block of the code. So we have the undefined. But why we still have the error? Well, because you have to write console log. light waves. Well, why we have this error here beneath the light wave variable? Make 
actually I have to write like this. Oh, sorry. It's my... It was logic because we have to uh, log before the, the value of light ways inside the block of code for, uh, for understand that we can access a value and print its value in the in this uh, loc in locally in this block of code, but not outside. If you log it outside, we have undefined. Call the visible light waves function from outside the function. And beneath the function call, log the value of light waves to the console from outside the function. You'll notice that it logs a reference error since the variable is tied to the block scope of function. So if we call it for understanding outside, we have a reference error. No, what the, the function call? The value of light waves. Yes, to the console from outside the function. Reference error since. Well, I think we have to write like just because we should have to call the visible light waves and we call the console log light waves. Okay, we don't have this error anymore. Okay, so we hit next, we complete this fourth part. Block scope two. Block scope two. Let's take a look at another example of block scope as defined with uh, within an if block. Const color sky with this function, const dusk let color, if dusk let color ping, console log, console log. So you can see here we have two different values inside the if block and outside. You'll notice we create a variable dusk inside the color of sky. After the if statement, we define a new code block within the curly braces. Here we assign a new value to the variable color if the if statement is true. Within the if block, the color variable holds the value pink. So inside here. So, uh, so inside the, uh, the if block, uh, in the function body, the color variable holds the value blue because this is, it refers outside. So is uh, is outside the if block. So it holds this the value of the let color blue. Block scope is a powerful tool in JavaScript since it allows us to define variables with precision and not pollute the global namespace. So remove the statement that erroneously logs the value of light waves variable to the console outside of the function block. Uh, so remove the statement that erroneously logs. Them. So I suppose it's this one we run. Let's continue by adding another variable to the visible light waves function beneath the light waves variable using let. Uh, region equal to the Arctic. Beneath the region variable, create an if statement that checks if the region is the Arctic. So, um, so beneath the region variable, create an if statement that check if region is the Arctic. So, if region equal the Arctic. Or one region region. Inside the if block, define a new variable light waves and set it equal to northern lights. So like this, and beneath the variable in the if block, use console log to log the value of the block variable inside the if block. Beneath the variable, oh, 
with a variable. So I want to separate this block. So beneath the variable, in if block use console lock to lock the value in the block variable inside if wow, it's a little bit confusing this kind of um, I think it should be like this. For understanding the, the concept of local and global. Okay, moonlight, northern lights. So you notice that um, inside if block console log logs the value of northern light because it's, it's inside this block of code, so it's locally. Uh, but still within the function, the same statement logs moonlight. Okay, light waves, visible light waves, and you have this moonlight, northern lights, and moonlight. Okay, next, block scope 3. Let's take a look at one other common example of block scope as defined within a for loop. Here, the variable e is defined in the cloud count function. Within the for loop block, we again define e as a value that will be incremented. The local value of e, whether defined in the function block or the for loop, has no impact on the global scope for our program. Okay. Using const declare a new function called star count. So const. equal to a new function. Well, what's that symbol? Within the sarcount function, declare a variable named e. Okay. Equal to five. Here we go. Right beneath the variable declaration, log the value of the e uh, of the e value to the console, sorry. Console.log of e. Okay. Beneath the previous console log statement, create a for loop. So, like this, we have to um, create the for. Should begin count to when e equal so e, um, let e equal to zero. So as long as uh, e uh, smaller than twelve, e plus plus. Within the block of the for loop, log the value of e. So it's uh, pretty nice and clear, this uh, example. Okay, so we want to invoke this uh, star count. Okay, so as you can notice the output, we firstly um, output this E, and after 0, 1 through 3, 6, 7, 10, 11. Okay, till the undefined. Finally, beneath the function call, log the value of E to the console from outside the function. You'll notice that here it doesn't reference error. So, um, console log. Oh no, it was the E. I think we have the same problem as before. We just want to call star count. Okay. Hope you guys understood the, the difference between uh, locally and global, local and global scope, okay? If you have the review, okay. 
so scope is the idea in programming that some variables are accessible and inaccessible from other parts of the program. Global refers to variables that are accessible to every part of the program. And block scope refers to variables that are accessible only within the block they are defined. So if you have any question about this, um, this concept that we, we visit in this part, uh, you can write in the, in the comment below. And uh, it's all for this episode, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you, bye.